Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG, and I am back, and today I'm going to talk about a comment that I keep getting on the installation of Theme Forest themes. So you can see that Nolan here said he is having a problem with the upload, and basically there is an error that pops up and states that the zip file does not contain a valid theme, and it is missing the template layout theme dot liquid. And um, this is the second time I've received this comment. So it seems like there's a recurring issue here. And if you don't know, um, <clears throat> what I'm talking about is theme forest themes from um, the Envato market. Okay. They have a ton of Shopify themes and templates. I personally use this walkie theme here that I've customized quite a bit for my website. Um, it's a one and done payment. And really, these can boost your SEO conversion, and just the overall look and feel of your website based off of your per personal preference and what you're trying to sell. So I'm going to go ahead and post a link to this in the comments below. If you are going to purchase a theme, I highly encourage you to use that link as I will get a couple of bucks from you guys and it'll help me buy some diapers for my kids. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below. I'm always trying to debunk these weird things that are going on. Um, when trying to do things. So <clears throat> interestingly enough, I was working on a client's website and she had the same issue where she was trying to install a theme. Um, I still have that downloaded on my computer. So I'm going to show you exactly what I ran into when that was going on. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to um, follow the steps in the previous video, which I'll link above to download your theme. Okay. Now, <clears throat> When you get to your uh, Shopify store, you want to click on online store and themes. And right here is where you're going to want to um, upload your theme. So I'm going to show you exactly what happens when this error occurs. If you click on upload theme and choose file, you want to go to where um, your theme is. So in this case, uh, my client wanted the Vinia theme. Okay. And so when you just go to install the zip file, as I stated in the previous video and click on upload, this is going to take a minute because Shopify is going to think about it while it's trying to install this theme file. It comes up with this pop-up that says it does not have a valid theme, which is the exact issue that Nolan had and a few other people had in the previous video. And it says missing template. Okay. So I was like, this is weird. Most of the themes that I've installed from Theme Forest is just a one and done. So I extracted this file. So what I did was I uh, extracted this zip file and it opened up this right here. Now, when you go into the folder, there's usually it's usually buried in there. But in this case, um, you go to source. And there are five different layouts that you can choose from to upload to your website. So when I click on Vinia Home 1 and click on Open, and you have to keep it as a zip file, you click on Upload, and this is going to work. Okay, so there you go. Now it's spinning, and it will install. And again, just like I said in the last video, you want to make sure that you customize everything before you go live and then make sure you put in your purchase or license key that you receive from your download or else it won't work. Um, I just do recommend that you customize everything before you go live. That's way it looks the way that you want it to look. Okay. So this is just going to sit here and spin. It's going to take a few minutes to load. Um, but that will solve your issue. If you have any problems with this or you can't seem to find the file, let me know. Um, I do have a Shopify backend where I can go in and I can install your theme for you. It doesn't take very long. Um, and I don't charge very much just for my time basically to go in and upload that. So hopefully this will solve your issue with not being able to get that uploaded just by dropping the .zip file. You have to extract it and go inside to determine what version of the theme that you're using because it more than likely has multiple themes. All right. If you guys got something out of this, 
go ahead and click on like and subscribe below. That keeps me motivated to keep making these videos. And as always, if you have any questions, drop a comment below or let me know, and I'll be more than happy to help you all out. Good luck with your Shopify store, and I'll catch you all later.